This video will get comparison of electric bike and petrol bike scooter there are lot of points before buying new bike and scooter showing in detail about all points in this electric bike versus petrol bike price and current time electric bike why are electric bikes so expensive you will get information about what is an electric bike scooters since the electric era is major ev manufacturers are launching their all electric bikes in india so people may get confused about whether to buy an electric bike or a petrol bike here in this video you will get information about electric bikes versus petrol bikes price range and running cost a petrol bike runs on fuel like petrol it has an ice engine i an internal combustion engine which combusts petrol to generate the energy by which the vehicle is driven Petrol bikes have an outlet of CO2 carbon dioxide gas CO2 which is very harmful and pollutes the environment. What is a petrol bike scooters? A petrol bike runs on fuel like petrol. It has an ice engine i, an internal combustion engine which combusts petrol to generate the energy by which the vehicle is driven. Petrol bikes have an outlet of CO2 carbon dioxide gas CO2 which is very harmful and pollutes the environment electric bike versus petrol bike cost keeping the environmental condition in mind we should definitely opt for an electric bike but considering the price range the basic starting price of an electric bike is beyond the basic capability of a middle class person despite all the government subsidies the cost of electric bikes is still high If we compare the price range of a normal petrol bike and an electric bike then the price of a standard fuel bike is much more economical than the electric bike range concern electric bikes versus petrol bikes before talking about the range of electric bikes and petrol bikes let us discuss one of the major disadvantages of electric bikes now when we need to refill our petrol bike It hardly takes 5 to 10 minutes to fill it completely but an electric bike scooter takes about 2 to 3 hours to recharge completely even if it comes with a fast charging battery it will take a full 1 hour to recharge so if you are planning for a long drive and even if you have charged your electric bike from 0 to 100% it will only cover a maximum distance of 80 to 140 kilometers this is a general category of electric bikes some electric bikes claim a range of 150 to a maximum of 200 kilometers whereas petrol bikes give you an average range of 500 to 700 kilometers depending on your engine So a person who travels less than 100 kilometers a day can definitely opt for an electric bike. Electric versus petrol bike scooters running cost if full daily run is too long then petrol motorcycle is best if you consider overall cost in 5 years. Just for example a petrol motorcycle 150 cubic centimeters costs 1.2 lakhs rupees and mileage is 50 kmpl. in 5 years considering daily run 30 kilometers and petrol cost annual run is equal to 50 kms multiply 30 days multiply 12 months is equal to 18000 kilometers annual fuel consumption is equal to 360 liters annual average fuel cost per liter for next 5 years is equal to 150 plus 110 to is equal to 130 per liter Annual expenditure on fuel is equal to 360 multiply 130 is equal to 46800 Maintenance cost of engine and other things is equal to 10000 for next 5 years Total is equal to 1.75 lakhs Electric versus petrol bike scooters running cost if full daily run is not too long then electric is best if you consider overall cost in 5 years you will save a lot of money
Now if you buy electric its cost is approximately 1.0 lakhs and with subsidy cost of electricity per kilometer is approximately 25 paise with no maintenance. So 5 years cost will come is equal to 1. 0, 0, 000 plus 18,000 multiply 0 0.5 is equal to 1, 0, 4, 5, 0, 0. This shows that within less than 5 years a vehicle will be free to you. Also maintenance cost for electric is too low. Choose according to your requirement and have some of your own calculations. Environment concern electric bike versus fuel bike petrol bikes generate co to gas, resulting in environmental pollution. But on the other hand, electric bikes run on battery, and it does not have any bad effect on the environment. This is one of the major differences between electric bikes and petrol bikes. Electric vehicles are the future of India. And they are emerging in India as electric bikes are safe, economical, and require less maintenance. Air and noise pollution is a major drawback of petrol fuel bikes. Note, considering the concern of global warming, electric vehicles are a boon for the environment. Electric vehicles are the first and foremost choice to reduce air pollution and save the environment. Present time electric bikes are why so expensive? Why electric bikes are so expensive? Well, the answer is the battery which is the most expensive part of any electric vehicle. The batteries used in electric bikes are made of lithium ion. These substances are essential for the smooth functioning of the battery so that the bike can also function properly. And this is the main reason why electric bikes are more expensive than normal petrol bikes. If someday the price of the battery is reduced then eventually the price of an electric bike can also be reduced, it will be cheaper than a petrol bike. But still, the battery is the most important component of an electric bike. The Indian government is taking all the required steps to promote EV adoption in India. Recently, many state announced subsidizing electric vehicles by reducing its tax following the EV policy. And the fact is that the forefront cost of an electric bike is higher than standard petrol or fuel bike, but if you're comparing the running cost of an electric bike versus a petrol bike, electric bikes are more affordable than ever. Not run Electric bikes may look a bit expensive, but if we talk about the cost of running electric bikes versus petrol bikes in India, then these electric bikes are much cheaper than petrol bikes. Thank you watching my video.